It is fantastic to have a cream, uh, to have creamer floor back in my riding and for the people attendants to meet him, speak with him and show the premier what makes Timmins Committee so special. And we are special. I admire the Premier Premier because he is honest, speaks from his heart, and works tirelessly on behalf of Ontarians from all over the province. He is a Premier that governs for Northern Ontario and the people of the great riding of Timmins. And I am proud to serve as a member of his party and his cabinet. It's a tremendous honor. Let's give a round of applause for the Premier of Ontario, Doug Ford.
and getting out what I call it the Queen's Park bubble. And you can listen to you know a bunch of Ontario uh, Public Service, which are great by the way, I love those guys, uh, and other politicians, or you get out and meet the real people. And talk about real people, the folks here in Timmins are, are grassroots. They're you know salt of the earth, and I just appreciate everything you do. This is the first chance I've had to come back to Timmins since the election, and I'm just so thrilled to be here. And it's not going to be my last year to come back frequently, especially when it's a little warmer, too. <laughs> Thank goodness I got some insulation around here. It's like a, like a polar bear skin. But because we've achieved what we've achieved uh, last June, our historic victory of 83 seats. It belongs to every party member. It belongs to each and every one of you. And an election win like this takes discipline and it takes hard work. But most importantly, it takes an army. George, Greg, and Graydon can tell you. It takes an army of volunteers and campaign staff. And so this victory belongs to every senior who made phone calls, every worker who came out in the evenings to put up lawn signs, every young person who spent their weekends knocking on doors. To all of you who are here tonight, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Thank you so much. You put your trust in us, and we will not let you down. We will work every single day to show you that you voted for the right team, the right party, in 2018, we ended 15 years of liberal mismanagement and scandal. In 2022, we secured a historic vote of confidence from all parts of Ontario. And in 2026, with you by my side, we will lead this party to a third mandate. Together, we have shown that our approach, it makes us competitive in regions long lost by the PC party, including right here in Timmins. And so, let's talk about what that means for the people here in Timmins. It means that after decades of being ignored and overlooked, you have a government that's finally looking out for you. You have a government that is bringing back the Northlander Rail Service after the Liberals canceled it. And by the way, there's a great announcement that we're going to be making. Surely this is a real exciting one, too, about the Northlander. I think that's coming down the rails, excuse the pun, uh, in the next couple of weeks. You have a government that is rebuilding Highway 101 after the Liberals found every reason not to get it done. You have a government that is bringing investment and good paying jobs back to this region after the Liberals chase them away. And we already are seeing the results. Earlier today, I was at Newmont, and I want to thank the folks at Newmont Mines, they're incredible. They're, they're announcing a $160 million investment in new water treatment facility that will enable more mining in this great region. And I'm sure there's more exciting news uh, coming down the road as well. That is a huge vote of confidence in Timmins, in our workers, and in the future of Northern Ontario. They know what we know, that there is no better place for businesses to thrive and prosper and grow and create jobs than right here in Northern Ontario. <coughs> and, and we are so blessed with the critical minerals that the entire world is after. And folks, I, I can tell you, through Vic Fidelli, our Minister of Economic Development, every day he's getting calls about our critical minerals. But we're going to make sure, whatever we do with critical minerals here, there's a couple of rules. Number one, our Indigenous friends have to be involved in it. That's number one. Number two, Number two, we have to have added value to the minerals. They can't take our minerals and go overseas and start creating batteries and cars over there. The way they get them, they're going to do it right here in Ontario, not overseas. And that's why our government is saying yes to unlocking the economic potential of Northern Ontario and saying yes to finally building the road to the Ring of Fire. 
Friends, as we navigate global economic uncertainty, it has never been more important that we face these challenges united as a province. And no other party is better positioned to unite Ontario than the Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario. That's, that's why it's never been more important to keep reaching out to new communities and keep building new partnerships. And as we do, we must stay engaged with party members to make sure that we're always delivering the results that matter to each and every one of you. Because never in our lifetime has it been more important for a party to represent all of the people of Ontario. As a province, we have every advantage, a bright and highly skilled workforce, an abundance of natural resources, and our government will keep working hard to make sure Ontario remains the greatest place anywhere in the world to live, work, and raise a family. One, one thing, one thing I have complete confidence in are the people of this great province. There are no harder working people anywhere on earth than right here in Ontario. And I know that together we will accomplish incredible things. Together we will build Ontario to everyone here, to the great people of Timmins, and every person who sent us to work on their behalf, who put their trust in us to get it done for them. Let me say once again, we will never, ever let you down. We will never take our eyes off the ball. We will work every day to earn your trust you put in us. Thank you, and God bless the people of Timmins. Thank you. Myself, Kate Hamadet. First is to thank everyone here. I mean, it would be pretty boring for the minister, the premier, our friend George, if uh, we were alone here. Alors à tous, un grand merci pour votre participation. Ministers, our great friend George, premier, to be here on a Friday night shows how much you care for this community. Thank you. Cher ministre, et notre ami George, le francophile, je suis très fier que ces petits enfants parlent le français. L'ami des francophones, notre cher premier ministre, un bon ami de nous les francophones. On vous remercie. Que vous preniez le temps de vous rendre à Timmins un vendredi soir démontre la reconnaissance que vous avez envers nous, démontre l'engagement que vous avez envers nous. Thank you, thank you very much, on vous remercie. The Premier will have a photo shoot, so in a few moments, uh, people who want to take pictures with the Premier, you come along the side here, and when you get close, you give your, someone will take your camera, take a picture, and give it back to you. Probably the most important thing tonight, there's a young man who's going to have a birthday on Sunday, and he's called Doug Ford. <laughs> so everyone, please, and make sure I don't start singing, because I sing like a frog. So. All right, who's going to start singing happy birthday to our premier? To Doug. Happy birthday to Doug. Happy, is it Doug's birthday? You. Happy birthday to you. You can tell you're getting old, if you guys my age, you can tell her, Dell's my age, when the screen back there, it's getting blurry as you're trying to read it. But thank you, everyone. Thank you. How old are you? I'm 58. I'm 58. I forgot there for a second. 